Hello everyone, I have another review. This is the single column journaling Bible in large print from Crossway. I received a review copy from the publisher and I am under no obligation to make a positive review. This particular one is in the natural leather with the strap, you can see in the photo there. And this is the large print and let me get a little zoom in there. You got your nine and a half point font, cream colored paper, two inch ruled margin. It's my sewn binding. And it comes in this clamshell. So there's that, the Bible itself. There's your little strap. I'll show you how to tie it. And eventually, I won't do that, but if you get one, I'll show you how to tie the knot for the strap part of it. This is what it looked like out of the box. And you do have the, the cream colored paper, which is pretty nice, the two inch margin, nine and a half inch font, which is pretty decent. And this is the 2016 text. So that is the most current one out there. You got your index and things. Now, the one thing I was a little surprised about this is the paper is really good. Uh, definitely a little thicker than traditional Bible paper, ideal for journaling. But if you get right underneath, you still get a little bit of ghosting. And it does come through. Zoom right there. It does come through. And my concern, and I'm not going to write in this just yet, but my concern is that if you write on the one side, it might come through the other. So I would highly recommend for this particular Bible, get a journaling pen. You can definitely Google Bible journaling pens, Bible marking pens, something like that for this particular Bible to hopefully eliminate the bleed through. Um, I was really hoping the thicker opaque, I shouldn't say really opaque, the cream color on these guys would be a little easier um, in terms of eliminating that bleed through, but it really doesn't. I'm just not too happy about that. You do get your your Bible in a year back there. There are no maps. It's not really a a good lay flat binding near the end here, but it's okay. Yeah, you don't get any of the maps or anything like that. No concordance, no references, study helps, anything. Pretty much it is strictly as it is meant to be, to journal your thoughts, study notes, from your own devotions, whatever. The one thing about the large print is this guy is pretty heavy. Um, this is definitely not one of those you throw in your backpack and carry around for a while. This guy's got some weight to it. So keep that in mind too. I want to say, and I don't remember the exact uh, of weight, but this is coming, coming somewhere close about oh, two kilograms so yeah a little heavy but at the same point because it's a large print it's a little easier to read as you're making your notes other than that decent um, I'm not a big journaling Bible guy I prefer to keep notes in a journal and then have the journal separate but I've noticed that a lot more people are moving over to a journaling Bible for that reason. And as somebody who does mark his Bible, I can see having a little extra space would be nice. So I may change my mind on that. But right now, I'm still typically using an outside medium to capture my notes and thoughts rather than inside a Bible or a journaling Bible. So one bookmark. You don't need a whole lot when you're journaling, but... Like that they do have a the shadow yeah there they are pen pencil holder there so that's pretty nice and it's not too bad i'll give you a little down shot there pretty decent room so if you need a little larger of a pen or pencil you're not gonna worry about hitting the binding at all um, so yeah just a quick little shot in the binding the one thing that I was a little surprised about is, you can read that pretty close, but from a distance, it's hard to tell what this is because of the natural. That may not be a big deal to most people, but maybe it is for some. You can't tell on the shelf. Oh, is that my journaling Bible? Is that my study Bible? 
versus if it had some sort of lettering that stood out a little more. You could say, oh, my journaling Bible, cool. But probably won't make much of a difference to a lot of people out there. Uh, that said, there are other journaling Bibles out there by Crossway. There's a hardback out there with an elastic strap. Uh, I believe that there is another one very similar to this that does not have the flap and the wrap strap. So you may want to look at that, crossway.org, and just do a little research there as far as journaling Bibles go. Hope this helps. Have any questions, please feel free to send me a message or comment, and I'll have another review for you at another time.